It's that time again. A new One Piece SH Figure Arts has just released, Trafalgar Law. This has been a much anticipated release for me. I've been wanting a figure of Law for a while now. Mega House made two versions, and they both looked amazing, but I wanted a 112 scale Law, so I held off. Then Anime Heroes made one, and well, yeah. <coughs> then, Tamashi surprised us with the announcement of Law. I was genuinely surprised because I did not expect him so soon. I was expecting another Straw Hat as the next announcement, but nope. Tamashi had other plans. I'm not complaining though, as Law is someone I've been wanting to figure. All the promo pics look good to me, the skepticisms being his diaphragm articulation, his cape, and of course, whether or not he's going to fall apart or not. Cause y'all know how bad this line has started. But now he's here, so are my skepticisms true, or is he on top? Let's find out. Law is packaged in a typical One Piece SHV Arts box style. His box is an orange and white color scheme. In front of the box you can see the figure, his name, and a blown up shot of the figure. Also, his hat and the clamshell or window on the packaging warp his face, so he does look a little dumb in the box. <laughs> Top of the box has a straw hat cut out that this line has been doing. Bottom of the box has another image of the figure. The left side of the box showcases a few close up images of the faces that he comes with. The right side of the box has his name and another image of the figure. The back of the box shows a few poses you can put the figure in, a full body shot of him, and a couple images of his face, and a DLC Luffy faceplate up close. Spoiler alert, yes, he does come with a Luffy DLC faceplate. The box looks cool and all, but I know y'all ready to see if this guy's worth buying, so let's go ahead and... <laughs> what the heck? Law! Get me out of here! Okay guys, I am loving this figure. He is actually so peak. First off, he looks amazing. His build is exactly how it is in the show, so the proportions on this guy are spot on. Then you can see his tattoos on his chest area, forearms, and hands are all done really well. He is then wearing his yellow shirt and pants that have black splotches on them. And of course, the likeness with this guy's face is great. In the display images, I was a little skeptical, but in person they are a lot better, and especially on the hatless head, because then you can actually see his full face, because with the hat, you can't see his eyes at all from certain angles. So if you want to see his face fully while you're posing him when he's wearing his hat, then you better do it at the same eye level he is at. And now, I know what y'all are wondering. Sugma, the cape, the cape, is it removable? And drum roll, please. Nope, it's not. I know. That actually sucks ass. Because the cape has some weight to it, and it makes the figure difficult to stand at times. I was really thinking the cape was going to be removable, but I guess not. Now, you can rip it off if you wanted to. But I think I'm just going to keep it on for now, unless someone makes a custom cape for him. And it's not like the cape is complete ass. It can move and it hasn't really limited too much posing with him. But you're definitely going to need a stand though to support him. Also, the cape grown on me a lot as I played with him more. Because at first I hated it. But as I got used to it, it's not, it's not completely ass. Even though it is still ass. If that makes sense. And for the final thing I know y'all want to know. Does he suffer from horrible QC? No, he doesn't. This figure is easily the best One Piece release QC and design wise despite his cape of course. This guy moves so fluidly and nothing falls apart. It literally made me so damn happy that he doesn't suffer from the horrible QC because it has made posing this figure a blast. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe the other figures are meant to fall apart so that we can have Law pose up disassembling. Now there is one QC issue that bothers me, but it's not related to the posability of this figure. Instead it's an accessory QC issue. And we will mention that when we get to the accessories. But for the overall appearance and feel for this figure, it's great. Like, I love looking at this figure. He is so badass looking and very fun to pose. So now, let's check out his accessories. Law comes with a good bit of accessories. First, he comes with five different face blades. He comes with a neutral expression face, a smirking face, which I think looks a little better in person than in the promo pics. Then he comes with an angry teeth gritted face, an angry yelling face. I just don't know why, but something just seems a little off. Not like bad off because it still looks good, but it's just like one of those things that just looks a little weird. Then lastly, he comes with a goofy expression face, which is so you can replicate the chicken game that Luffy, Law, and Kid did. And yeah, and Luffy did not come with a face like this, but thankfully Law just so happens to come with a Luffy DLC faceplate doing the same expression. These are really funny faceplates that remind me of when someone musty as fuck walks by. Now we just wait for Kid, so we can see them all three together. For the faces, they look really good to me, and they capture his likeness really well. I still wonder what the fuck is up with the Luffy they made, and why all his faces were pretty much ass, as all the rest of the releases of the One Piece line have had spot on likeness, and even his DLC faceplates are good. Now with his hat on, it is hard to see his face at some angles, so thankfully they did include a hatless head. All the faces look amazing on this head as well. 
I wish the cape was removable, because whenever I use the hatless head, I don't think the cape matches the look, so that sucks. Law then comes with 13 interchangeable hands. He comes with two fisted hands, two open relaxed hands, two sword holding hands, which are made to hold a sword. And as I said earlier, there was a problem with this figure, and well, here it is. The sheath holding hands don't hold onto the sheath the best, and they can easily slide off his grip while posing. It can definitely be a little frustrating. Law then comes with two thumbs up hands for doing his technique counter shock. He has one room hand or flip it, and it can be for his remove, tack, tack, I, I, honestly guys, I don't really know how to say it. Then he has one shambles hand, and then lastly, one karate chop hand, which I think is used to recreate his injection shot technique. <clears throat> Law's hands all of his tattoos on them, and they all look incredible. He comes with all the hands that are necessary for his figure. Lastly, for accessories, Law comes with his sword. I think the sword looks really good and badass. And then finally, he comes with his sword sheath. I really love Law's design on the sheath. Also, you can pop the hilt out of the sheath, so whenever you're posing, it isn't in there when he's holding his sword and the sheath at the same time. Law's accessories are plentiful and add so much playability to this figure. Now, I wish he would've came with like a room accessory, some lightning force techniques like counter shock or radio knife, or if it came with a gamma knife effect piece. The variable action heroes came with a gamma knife effect piece, so you could definitely use that. And I'm not complaining though, as I am satisfied with this figure. I'm just saying what else I think would've been cool for him to come with. But overall, for accessories, they are enough and I am satisfied. So now, let's look at his articulation. Law's articulation is the best so far in the line, despite his annoying ass cape. First, his head can look this far up, because the cape limits it some. His head can look this far down, look and tilt side to side well. The cape tries to get in the way of his shoulders going up, but they still can go up a good bit. He then has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and some good wrist movement. His butterfly joint gets amazing range going forwards, but for it to go backwards, you're going to have to have it fight his cape, but it's not overly annoying or bad. Now I know y'all been questioning if he has diaphragm movement or not, and guess what? He does. His shirt hides it well, but it can move, but it is not the best range of movement. He then has waist movement, but mine is a little tight. His legs can go this far forwards, almost none at all going backwards, and then they go a little bit outwards. He then has a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and pretty good ankle mobility, and a toe joint. This figure poses really well in fluidity. Like, it's so much fun when I can pose a figure, and it doesn't fall apart. Now, the cape is ass, it honestly pisses me off because it limits articulation, and it makes it a hassle to pose because it's so heavy. But, looking past the cape, this is the best articulated One Piece SH Free Arts release so far. So now, let's do some figure comparisons. First, here's Law next SH Free Arts Luffy. They scale really well. I am having a lot of fun posing these two with each other. Now, it's time for them to face Kaido. Here is Law next Kaido. Here is Law next Asanji and Zoro. Here is Law next to Anime Heroes Chopper. Next, here is Law next to Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider-Man. Here is Law next to Demonical Fit Goku. And lastly, here he is next to Storm Collectibles Yuji Rohan. To conclude my thoughts on this figure, I must say he is amazing. Like, he is so much fun. First, his likeness is really good, and I have no gripes with the appearance of this figure. Second, playing with this figure has been so much fun because everything moves so smooth and his accessories add even more playability. Now, the cape is dog ass, and I hate it because why the fuck is it not removable? I'm tempted just to cut the shit off. Fuck it, we ball. Let's get this piece of shit off of him. Okay, well, I think this looks great, and now this figure is even more fun. He's not only got this stupid ass cape limit in him. Now, you will have this spot on his back, but it really doesn't bother me. Hopefully, someone can make us a cloth cape for this guy. And yeah, even though the cape is ass, this figure is still great. You can find him on Amazon, Hobby Ginky, or eBay. If you're a law fan, then I definitely recommend, because this is a great figure. That's it for this one, though, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And if y'all watch this far, then tell me who your favorite One Piece character is. See y'all later. One Piece is on top.